Hello guys, GamerZone101 here, and today we are playing another random horror game I found called The Earl Street Massacre. So, this horror game I found, I didn't find it on Steam, believe it or not, I found it on itch.io. I'm gonna leave a link to this website in the description, but if you guys don't know about this website, that's where I found the Mickey Mouse horror game, the Steam Boy Willie horror game I played a couple weeks ago or a month ago now. That's a really good website to go if you want to find a lot of good indie horror games. And you guys should really check it out because it's really quite interesting. Enough of that, uh, this game is apparently about a, um, a guy who's a workaholic, he's coming home from work. And he's doing his like nightly routine around the house and then stuff just gets increasingly more creepy i guess <laughs> uh are you sure you want to start a new game i don't have any save progress what the fuck are you talking about yeah apparently just stuff, stuff just gets increasingly more creepy as this guy goes around his house finally i can't believe i'm actually home those those guys are the worst they dropped all that work on me out of nowhere. I really thought I'd have to stay overnight again. Whatever, I'm too tired. I guess I'll take a shower. Maybe I'll watch a movie after. Holy fuck, it's dark. Um... If you think the screen looks weird, don't adjust your video. This is really what the game is. It's, um... It has... It's just pixely graphics. Which, honestly... Some... Oh, that's kind of cute. Which honestly, sometimes, uh, sometimes it's nice. You know, not all games have to have realistic ass graphics to make you feel like you're watching a movie. You know, nice, nice house so far, bro. By the way, uh, you know, I just realized I seem to have kind of a habit of judging interior design <laughs> in games. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this game did, this game did a pretty good job of make, making, of making it look like someone actually lives here. I am not going down there. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> actually, hold on. I have one critique. Why, why does it look like the stairs? There is no stairs. It's just a ramp. There's no power down. It's too dangerous to go down in the dark. I mean, that's fine if it's like a wheelchair ramp, you know, I get it. But if it's a wheelchair ramp, whoa, <laughs> like, that is way too steep. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, oh, damn, look at that food. You only have milk and what the fuck is that? Is that some sort of, like, taco salad, maybe? Just on a plate, you know, you didn't even wrap that up? Come on, man. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I wasn't paying much attention to the start of the game. Whatever, I'm too tired. I guess I'll take a shower. Maybe I'll watch a movie after. <laughs> so, goes to show you, I should probably start paying more attention to the game instructions. Uh, I had to restart the game, and apparently I'm just supposed to take a shower and perhaps watch a movie after is what it's trying to say. Um, they really didn't let me take a break today. My clothes are a mess too. I should throw them in the washing machine first. Okay, fine. Where do you work, by the way? That your clothes are such a mess. Where do you work? Are you a, like a foreman or something? Like a contractor or something that your clothes are, would be dirty? Or are you... Or is your clothes just dirty from sweat? Holy fuck, that was loud. La da dee, la da do, la da dee. Hmm. I wonder what Anna is. She's usually home by now. Maybe her bus is running late. I should try calling her later. La da dee, la da do, la da dee dee do. I'm starting to get a bit hungry. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. There should be some leftovers in the fridge I can eat. I can't wait to finally just crash on the couch. You know, I mean. I want to talk. I've had a lot of couch naps before. <laughs> I've had a lot of cat couch naps in my past. <laughs> in the past, okay? You know how much your back could hurt if you just keep napping on the couch all the time? Mmm. Do I have to warm it up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I 
I thought I just blew up. I thought I just fucking blew up. Wait, did I actually blow up? Wait, did I die there? What just happened? <laughs> I think I blew up. Uh, <laughs> that was funny. Uh, my delicious pixelized slop. Uh, my favorite show is on today. It's a shame Anna's not home yet. Uh, my favorite show about a cat. Or, or if it's a nature documentary. I'm not one to judge. Is the cat following me? Maybe I'm imagining things. I feel like the cat is following... Someone at the front door. Wonder who it is this late. That was a really fancy doorbell. Though all those chums who have just the do do doorbell, no no no, I want the do 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 do. I want a doorbell that sounds like a cell phone. Damn it, stupid kids! Ding, uh, ding dong ditching at this hour. I can't believe I had to get up for for this. What the hell? You gotta be kidding me. Did the wine machine trip the breaker again? It's so dark. There should be a flashlight in the kitchen. I really hope the batteries are still good. <coughs> Ty spelling error, you guys have to fix that. I hate going down into that stupid basement. I've always found it so creepy for some reason. Yeah, basements can be creepy. Whether, whether you have a basement that's that's still that's unfinished or still or finished there's always one point one spot or one room in a basement that's just the spawn of satan let's be real honest here wow you guys need to clean clean this place up i mean there's just a random <laughs> see this is murderous tendencies right here this is a random knife on the floor here there's no like knife set or anything it's just come on man I found the murder weapon. <laughs> That's Anna? She's dead. I have to go help now. Uh... Sure, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Do I have to blow that? I don't know. It's not that graphic, so probably not. But I don't know YouTube's. I don't know how strict YouTube can really be. Oh! What the hell was that? Why did that scare me so much? Oh my god. <sighs> I need to hide somewhere. Closet, closet, go in the closet. No? The fuck? Uh. I can't go there, I need to hide. Well, where? Behind the couch? Don't look behind you. Hi. That's my chance. I'll just have to make a run for it. I'll just have to make a run for it. Ah, I'm almost to the front door. I don't think it's gonna open, sir. Shit, no, 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 no. I think it's locked! Uh, can I move? Hi. I couldn't move, by the way. It only allowed me to keep pressing on the door. Hi. How's it going, bud? Loved your face. Loved your face. Oh, I love those jeans. Oh, I love those shoes. Where do you get it? Um. Thank you for playing. This is the first game I ever made, so it might have... So it might have been a bit janky. I hope you enjoyed playing it nevertheless. 
Yeah, Simon Earn, I think that's what your name is. If this was your first game you ever made, that was that had a lot of fucking potential, my man. It was really, really creepy. Uh, you could probably work on maybe balancing your audio a little bit. Like, probably quiet down your sound effects because that was really freaking loud in my ears. Uh, maybe add a little soundtrack like to the main title screen here. But other than that, the, <clears throat> that was a really horrifying experience uh, and I'm excited to see if you might work on some stuff in the future uh, if you guys like random horror games like this put down in the comments if you have any other game suggestions for me put down in the comments I would love to see it press the like and subscribe button if you want to and as always stay tuned Message for you guys. If there's a intruder in your house and the front door doesn't open, most likely it's locked. Uh, hide someplace else, maybe. <laughs>